Hey, I know it's been a while. Life stuff gets in the way and I'm wagey, so that kind of hampers things every once in a while, so. Yep, all the trout streams are way too warm. Tulpa Hawkins measuring 76 today. It's just way too warm, so I'm fishing for bass in the Schuylkill River today. Right in the city. Be prepared for a lot of trash. This place doesn't give a shit about what it looks like, so. Man, yeah, I got a treat today. I got a 30 foot fishing rod. So let me show it to you. All right, here it is. I love Suntex finishes. Wow. Sparkle. For, for professional user. Ooh, I think I consider myself a professional. Zuiki Special. Oh boy, look at that finish. JDM, bro. <laughs> I love the finishes on these things, man. Cool. And this is a big fish rod. This is not meant for standard fishing. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah, assemble it and show it to you fully extended. 10 meters, 30 feet. Cool. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, to rig up this rod, it has not a Lillian on it. That is a swivel attachment point. It actually spins. And of course, no none of the other sites have knots that show what the proper knot is to use, except for Gamakatsu, which makes IU rods, sweet fish rods. And there's a picture on their website that shows you how to set this thing up. Basically a simple slip loop. Put it on there like that. Come on camera, focus, chef. <laughs> there you go, and just do a slip loop. That's it. And you can just pull it off with that little bit of tag. Come on, focus, there you go. Come on, you bastard. Yeah, there it is. Come on. There you go. Slip loop. Cool. All right. Get back to fishing. All right. I'm probably only going to do the stand for one or two fish because it's just too much to set up. Yeah, let's give it a shot with the with the stand. See what happens. All right. Here we go. Let me make sure this is upright. There we go. 30 foot rod. Ugh. Swing, baby, swing. <laughs> well, that's already something. Ooh, it's something nice, too. Yeah, there's some, finally something decent. I've been taking this rod out a couple times and it hasn't been too swell. That's a nice first cast. Can you see the arc? Oh, fish! <laughs> that's an arc. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. Man, I can feel the shock absorbing in the whole butt section of the rod. Wow! What a cool feeling. 
every time he makes a run, I can feel the rod continue to bend into the butt section. Uh-oh, did he get stuck in something? I feel string or something in there. Maybe not. I feel something weird going on. Nope, I think he's out. Oh man, this is a good fish. Sorry, camera. Wow, <laughs> that's a good bass. It's like, it, this makes worm fishing so fun. It's like, damn, I left my damn net up there because I was doing video stuff. I'm going to land this thing by hand. Can you come up? Can you come up? I don't want you to go in any weeds. Man, this is a good fish. Well, good thing this is a this is a salmon rod in Japan, so I guess it's fitting. This is mainstream. And that's a big bass. <laughs> Try to get him away from the I see a couple of sticks in there. Oh man, that's a nice bass. <laughs> he saw me. Put a little bit more pressure on him, maybe see what happens. Wow, this is a good fight. Wow. I think he got stuck in sticks again. I can feel something weird going on. Yep, he's stuck in sticks. Damn, damn, damn. Pop out, pop out. There he goes. Get away from those sticks. I have five pound test as my main tippet, so it might not hold. I don't want him to keep getting stuck in here. It is a drop off though, man. A little cloudy today. Come on fish. Try to turn him a bit. Oh, good fight. Man, I can, the rod just absorbs the lunges like crazy. And he wants to come right at me. Ugh. That's a nice bass. Wow. Haven't caught one that big in here in a while. Try to get him up on shore. Oh man, that's a nice looking bass. That bass though. Oh man, that thing looks pretty. Ain't you a pretty little thing? Man, the markings on it are amazing. I gotta beat you. Ugh. Try to get my line, try to get my line. Oh man, that's a good, that's probably a two pounder. Oh. Yeah, baby. Whew. <laughs> I hope that's still recording. That is a bass. Oh, man. Are you still recording or are you out of date? Are you still recording? All right. What? That's not, that's not a bad fish for a first fish. <laughs> Two pounds smally. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh man. Cool. All right. Get them in the sun for you. And this one, what a pretty fish. Bass usually aren't that pretty. Wow. That's a good two pound fish. Cool. Get them back in. 
Are any more in there? That's a big bass. Oh, you fat bass. Huge bass. Thank you, bass. That's a good fish. Man. There he goes. <laughs> yes, baby. Kevin, I gotta get more worm on. Look at that. Absolutely nothing left. Sweet. Man, that was a bass. Jeez, oh man. Oh, I love the style of fishing. 30 feet rod. <laughs> uh, I actually fished this stretch about two weeks ago with just traditional gear. Uh, what was it? Bunch of Rapalas I used and there's nothing, 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 nothing. Everything was small. That was literally the first cast with a worm and that's the biggest bass I've caught all year. So let's see if there's another one in there. Every time I see it in the sun, it's like, man, that's a pretty fishing rod. Jeez. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Huh, ain't gonna be anything else in this spot, huh? Just a bunch of little ones. Yep, just a bunch of little ones. Just gotta keep moving. Man, it'd be really pretty if the this wasn't the dumpster of uh, Pennsylvania. Trash all over the place. Beautiful river though. Oh, this looks like a fly fisherman's dream. Beautiful run of water here. Not even a little bass. going to pick up a course. I guess we just did have a cold front come through. Nothing in here at all, huh? Seems very peculiar. That was something. A little dinker. I'm about to say, it ought to have been something in there. Or are you a little dinker? Maybe you are something a little more now. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say. Usually this is where the small ones are. Oh, that ain't a bad fish. About a quarter pounder. Ugh. Putting up a nice fight in its current. Oh yeah. Alright. Another little bass. About a quarter pound. I don't feel like getting hooked. I got hooked last week and that was not fun. So, no dangling fish right below your hand. A little bass. That's about your average fish here. Not very big. Kaboosh. All right, 
Here we go. Oh. All right. So it wasn't. A, it was just that I wasn't fishing deep enough. I thought this was a little shallower. That was a little one. That's bottom. What was that? Moss? Yeah, moss. You're a fish? Oh, oh. Another little small one. I keep getting surprised by this fishing rod. It feels like they're decent fish, but then that big one showed me that this rod will absorb a lot of run. It's really cool. Another little small one. Orsha! As they say in Japan when fishing for sweet fish. Little bass. Little tiny bass. Sploosh. Green tangle up my line. Alright. See if there's another one in there. Quick. Oh, you paw. Bottom, bottom. That's a fish. Might have to go follow him. Oh, that's a chub. <laughs> a nice chub. Oh. Slippery rocks. I think that's a chub. Yep. Oh, that's a nice chub. They get pretty nice in here. Chubbly. I think sweetfish fight a little bit better than chubs do. That ain't bad. Fall fish, chub, whatever you want to call them. My grandfather always called them chubs. Generally, they give up pretty quick, but... Yep. <laughs> I wanted to show you off. Oh, well. Thank you, Chubby. All right. More. More. <laughs> Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? More. Yeah, it did get shallow. Have to move down a little bit. Little one. They're the ones that throw my worms. tire himself out. I don't want you throwing no worms. Ah, he threw it. Dang. A little bass. Like I said, that's pretty much all there is in here. Little bass. Cool copper colors on them. But they're a nuisance for worms because they steal them all. Spoosh.
chub. It's a little one, but there sure is a bend in that rod. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a super small one. Man, they put up a fight. Jeez. Ooh Rocket bass. <laughs> hey, just gonna pop off? Nah. Ugh. Like I said, this rod is very capable. Very capable fishing rod. Barbless. On the sun. Average bass. Sploosh. There's a fish. Another one. That looks like a chub. Worry, 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 love is passing me by. Worry, 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 I'm so painfully shy. All oh, the guys give all the kisses. Oh, am yeah, I the one that misses? Worry, 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 woe is me. I found out that I'm the worrying kind. I go worrying right along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Worry, worry, worry. <laughs> oh, chub putting up a fight. Another nice chub. Man, what are you like? 14 inches. Red fins on a chub. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> Cool red fins on them. Ah. <laughs> Not too often you see a chub with red fins like that. Ah, come on. Lively one. Yeah, look at the red fins on them. Cool. Bright orange. They're eating good in here. Sometimes there's trout in here, but not often. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get rid of the hook so I don't hook myself. Chub. Cool. Shiny, shiny chub. Be gone, you. Thank you, chub. <laughs> That's a wee little one. Jeez. Real tiny one. Don't do that flopping thing when you get finally to hand crap. <laughs> Spikes and hooks. I don't want another hook in my hand. There you go. Little bastard. Hey. <laughs> so those little ones you gotta look out for. So flip flop around. And then pop off the hook and then you get a hook in your hand. Like what happened last week. I'm 
I'm not seeing to that run already. Keep moving. Well, I actually don't look too bad in there. Watch the trees. Yep. <laughs> Gonna be only little ones in there though. Most likely. You sure get a burst of energy. <laughs> you done? I don't want you flopping and popping the hook out. Little bass. Oh, shit. Yep. All gonna be little ones. Ooh Come on. Man, they are tiny. Tiny little bass. Go find some deeper water. Flopping. Come on. Stop. There you go. Little bass. That's what you don't want flopping around. Get me hooked. Came off easy. Pretty deep spot in there. I'm surprised there's nothing in there. 
probably catfish in there, but I don't feel like sitting there waiting on the bottom all day. I want to fish fast water. It's more fun. Get down to the fast water. Ugh. Yeah, it's deep in here, but I don't like the slow water. Keep moving. Alright, here's some fast water. My favorite. Flipping and flopping. Oh, I almost got his young orange marks to him yet. Cool. Oop, there you go. Well, so much for that. He had a cool orange fin to him. I think I'm gonna cross actually. Yeah, just little ones on this side. Gets fish too hard. Man, ain't that nice looking? Awesome scenery. All right, that looks a little better. Slick spot I can stand in. How are you? But I don't want you to knock it off. Kaboosh. Little bugger. Looks like I gotta change worms. Alright, worms back on, but the wind's picking up, of course.
little dude. I don't think I'm gonna get any more two pounders today. Yeah, everything's super small today. Oh, I'm stuck in weeds too now. Little one and in weeds. God, that stuff. Mossy bears. Wee little bass. It's pretty much the only thing that's going to be in here, it seems. No more two footers. Oh well, keep moving. Oh, it's a shame that all turned out to be little stuff. Just got to get away from the heavily fish stuff, I guess. I think till the next bridge, there might be one spot in there. It might be good. But I'm just trying here quick. It's a little deep. Might have to change batteries soon. I think getting away from the city might be the best bet. You're all of a sudden gonna get shoulders on you though. Nah. I can feel he ain't pulling past the midsection of this rod. Up, 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 up. There you go. It ain't bad, but. Ain't a big one. Come on. Am I gonna have to get the net, really? There we go. Little red eye. Tiny little thing. Flash. Another worm. That was a fish. Oh. <laughs> Dang, instantaneously took the worm. And that wind's picking up. That's a fish, a little one, man. That's a really small one, get out of here. That little crick over there is actually one of the cricks I fished earlier, actually recorded. I was with the Nissan 270 I fished over there. Good trout stream. Be nice to see a trout come out of this hole. Little one. 
Come on now. Bugger. <laughs> this rod is powerful. <laughs> Come on now. Every time he gets close, <laughs> gets his head underneath the water. Around my legs, you little bastard, huh? All right, you. I'm done. Took the whole worm. Another little dinker. Pretty much all there is in here. Sploosh. Guess got changed the battery. Battery changed. I am a reloading. Reloading. time oh that's a nice bass not as big as the other one but definitely need a net for that one I'm not going to fast water Ugh. Chase him. Oh. There we go. That bend. Yeah. Interesting pressure this fish is able to put on. He fakes being small. That is a nice bass. Just gotta get my net out. Oh my god, I lose him. There we go. Yeah, he ain't a bad bass. Not a bad bass at all. <laughs> Thanks for swimming right in the net for me. <laughs> He's like, I saw something to get in the cover. Whoops. Right in the net. And as big as the other one, but. Ain't that bad. Up north, this is probably really small, but hey. We're in Pennsylvania, so that's what we got. Cool. Sploosh. Thank you, Bass. All right, it's going to be another half decent one in there. throwing my worm. 
No, uh -oh. got a little deep. Gotta hop real quick. Good thing it's barbless though. That's, I keep pinching my barbs down now. I got a hook on the hand the other week and that, I said that was enough. <laughs> I did not like having to push that through the other side. Ugh. At least it was one of those small Gamagatsu hooks. Oh, that's something. Oh, that might be something huge. That's got a lot of pressure on it. Eh, no it ain't. That one felt a lot different than that last one. I mean, it ain't small, but... Put the foot backwards on me, you little bugger. That's why he was hooked, hooked in a weird way. Pressure was on his side instead of in the center. There you go, little bass, Bloosh. Gorgeous day. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, are you? <sighs> That's bottom. First actual being stuck today. Oh, there is a fish in there. Or no, it's somebody else's damn lawn. That's what it is. Dang. Yep, someone else's lawn. Decent, but where are you going? Little bass. Another little one. Cool colors, though. Splash. Time to head downstream. Man, that looks really neat. They put a carbon weave in there with some yellow clear coat over top of it. Oh man, that looks nice. Wow. And it's a long way down. And I'm not carrying a 30 foot rod through the trees. So simple as that. Cool. Oh, that was quite the walk. That is some gnarly water. Wow. I ain't crossing there. 
find my way around this pillion, I guess. Oh. Alright, this is some aggressive water. Something already. Smally. You gotta keep them in that slow stuff over there. jump probably gonna have to scoot them along the top of this <laughs> that's one way to do it I don't want to get too close because the bridge is right next to me. Oh, that's going to be weird to land. I got the bridge above me, so can't quite land them the way I want to. Go. Smally, average size again, splash. All right. This is a deep, deep spot, wow. Man, if that was that small of a fish, brave being in that far. Eh. Damn you, lantern flies. Ugh. Now you will die. Junk floating around right in a good spot. There's a fish. Another not great one, but hey, through my worm. Here. Come on.
little fish. Sploosh. Another small one. Man, they're very brave to be in that deep of water. All right, I had enough of you. Out of there. <laughs> All right, I think it's only gonna be little ones so far. Or should I say, it's only going to be little ones, it seems, throughout here. Surprising, but there's some junk floating right in the good spot where I wanted to be. And all I'm going to do is get stuck, so I think I'm going to call it there today. Ooh, looks like I need a haircut. Anyway, yeah, that's a great way to christen a rod. First fish on the rod was a freaking two-pound bass. I love doing that. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. I'm getting hungry. But uh, yeah. yeah, it was an all right day. The two pounder was nice, but what I was catching earlier, or I should say later in the day, was about standard in here. It's not fantastic. It's not trout fishing. You know it's possible to get the seasonal depression from summertime. <laughs> Man, I hate summertime so much. I wanna go trout fishing. Yeah. Maybe I'll take it on the steel, try uh, some steelhead fishing, but uh, yeah. I know it's been a while, but like I said, stuff happens, life happens, and I just didn't have time to record stuff, so yeah. That was a fun day, though. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like this stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully you like this kind of fishing. If you want to see more, hit a like. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, see you guys later.